So the easiest way to play a DVD on our school laptops is to plug in an external DVD player to your laptop. And once you do that, you're going to pop in the DVD and that DVD is probably going to show up on the desktop. Uh, if it doesn't show up on the desktop, you can simply click on your desktop, go to Finder, Preferences, General, and make sure the box next to CDs, DVDs, and iPods is checked. Um, that way it will show up so you can see it. Uh, sometimes when you pop in a DVD, Apple's DVD player launches. Um, in this case, I don't want Apple's DVD player. Apple's DVD player does a fine job at plugging in to a television and playing most of the time, not always. Um, so I may choose to, in this case, use a different app to play my DVD, and that's an app called VLC. And so I can search for that app. Looks like this, it's an orange traffic cone. It's in your applications folder, or if you don't have it, you can install it from the manager app. When I open up VLC, it's a real simple app. Simple, plain, boring interface. It has a big button here that says drop media here. All I have to do is click on my DVD and drag it onto the drop media here button and let go. It may ask you, do you wanna give it permission? I hit okay. That video then shows up. Turn my music off. And now I'm ready to play it. Um, I can airplay now. Uh, it does, the VLC app allows you to airplay, but ideally anytime you're playing a large video, uh, it will always play best while being plugged in. And if I need to go full screen, I can hit this full screen button just like that. And now I can simply go through and play the video just like I would have. The escape button kicks you out anytime you're done. Now, one other thing you may choose to do is if I click on my desktop again, if I go to the Apple and System Preferences, and I go to CDs and DVDs, I can choose which app is going to launch automatically when a DVD is popped in. So chances are, when I insert a video DVD, it was probably set to open up the DVD player, but I could tell it to open another application instead, choose VLC, and now anytime I insert a DVD, it'll automatically open up the VLC app for me without me having to search for it and find it. That's all there is to it.